Hi guys, today I just want to quickly look at 12 tone. Um, outside of classical music, you'll generally see uh, videos where people say just put four triads together and create a 12 tone line. But there's a lot more to it than that, and it's a lot more interesting than that as well. So if we take this 12 tone line here, what we can do first of all is make it into hexachords. Now these hexachords are two groups of six notes. So each hexachord has six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This way you can make the um, 12 tone line into a logical pattern to play on the guitar. Okay, so the first hexachord would be this. And the second part being this. That makes a musical sort of phrase and a sense out of the notes. Okay, this line is from Arnold Schoenberg. But this is not just all there is, because you can create another line of music, another bar of music, by taking this line and playing it retrograde, or playing it backwards, which will then look like this. Okay, originally we started on this note and we were going this way. Now we're playing it backwards and we're starting on this note and we're going this way. This gives you another bar of music, an extension. There's another version of this where you could actually transpose this and take this up, you know, a tone or a semitone or a minor third, but um, we'll go into that in another video. But for the moment, this is called retrograde. So you're playing the same line, 12 tone line, but you're playing it backwards. The next idea is to take the tone row and invert the intervals. Okay, so where we had the perfect fourth descending or moving downwards, we now have the perfect fourth ascending, moving upwards. Where we had the semitone going down, we now have the semitone going up. Where we had the tone going down, we now have the tone going up. Where we had the minor third going down, we now have the minor third going up. And all of these intervals are just being inverted. This in turn creates another 12 tone row and another bar of music. And this extends the 12 tone concept even more and gives you much more material with which to play with, especially if you're a composer. This is very, very useful. <music> Lastly, what you could do is take this inverted row and then play this backwards. So you would start with this note, then play this note, then 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 this note, this note, this note, this note, and this note. And that would be retrograde inversion, or playing the inversion backwards. That in turn will give you another bar of music. So you will have four bars of music. Okay, so you might be saying, what do we do with this four bars of 12 tone rows? Well, you can make chords. You can do it with fourths or fifths or sixths, but I'm going to use what's known as trichords because they give a very, very interesting sound and there's a lot you can do with them. Again, there's lots of variations on this. I'm just using this one idea because it's just a short YouTube video to give an overview of what's possible. So let's say we have the 12 notes here. Let's take these notes and make three note 
trichords out of them. Okay, so here we've got B flat, F and C. So these three notes now become one chord. And this is three notes, so it's a trichord. So with this chord, you could use this as the outline for playing something else, like the outline of chord tones. So for instance, you could have something like this. By using these chord tones, as your chord tones and then improvise on them. So even these chord tones on their own create a nice sound. Okay, now we'll make a trichord out of these three notes. So we've got a B natural, an A and an F sharp. Let's see how this sounds. So we have something like this. Going from the first trichord to the second trichord. Going back to the first trichord. Now we come on to the next trichord here. Where we have D flat, E flat and G natural. So we have this sound. This really makes E flat 7 third inversion. But again, you could join this to the other triads. So you could join all of those three um, tricords together in any order that you wish. So there's lots you can do with it just as a little tricord. Lastly, of course, we have this one here. So we've got A flat, D natural, and an E natural. So we've got the A flat in there, the D natural, and the E natural. Again, this really makes E7 first inversion. Although it's a good idea to make these into hexachords, you could also make them into four note groupings as tetrachords. But you could also do them as triplets, rhythmically, if you wanted to break this up. And the same with this one. Okay, so as you can see with this 12 tone, there's worlds within worlds. So when you have these trichords, you suddenly have a whole set of new tonalities and chord tones and developmental, compositional or improvisational possibilities. When you just take four triads and stick them together and say, well, this is a 12 tone line, well, that doesn't mean anything because it's non-developmental. You can't create composition from it, really, or improvisation. But if you look at the great scores of the great film composers, they use 12-tone a lot. And a bit like I've done in this video where I'm using trichords, 
you'll suddenly find other possibilities because there's worlds within worlds of this 12-tone um, ideal or concept. And if you're a composer or an improviser, you'll find new sounds and new ideas, especially with the guitar, where you can create original creative music. But you have to develop it. You need to go with the retrograde, retrograde inversion, the trichords. It doesn't have to be trichords. You could have quartal chords or whatever, or chords. I mean, I would use 23rd chords. That's a whole lot. There's a lot of melodic stuff in there that's not actually atonal. It's actually very melodic. Um, and very acceptable to the ear of the person in the modern world. Maybe it wasn't a hundred years ago, but now it is, because you'll find rows of fifths like quintal harmony and things like this inside there. Anyway, this was just a look at it. There's lots more variations on this. This is not the strict 12 tone that I've been doing. Because there's variations, there was another guy at the time called Hauer who had tropes, these tropes that he used, which I will look at in another video because that is a subject, again, within itself. But this should give you an idea of the possibilities and developmental possibilities that are inherent within this 12-tone concept, because there's worlds within worlds. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was of use to you. If it was, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, because it's the subscriptions that keeps the channel going. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.